Alright boys. Good morning. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can afford your dream life. Or begin begin to afford it anyway. In exact steps. So last night I spent hours hours thinking. And I came to realise that affording my dream life is actually so much easier than I previously thought. So you're probably thinking, oh, I want to live in a mansion. I want to have supercars. I want to be a millionaire. I want to have nice watches. All right? You want to be a millionaire. You want to make 10K a month. Minimum. And yeah, that's all nice, bro. Right? But you don't actually want to be a millionaire. You want to live like a millionaire. You see all the things that these millionaires have and you want them. You don't want the figure in your bank account. You want the things that that figure can buy them. And you don't actually need as much as you think. I realized yesterday just how wrong I was about this. I was thinking, oh, I need to make 10K a month to afford a decent life, right? Then I'll be able to afford anything I want. I was so wrong. So wrong. And I'll tell you exactly how you can find out how much your dream life will cost and how you can actually get there. So first, what you're gonna do, make sure you're taking notes, bro. Because I'm gonna tell you each step. The first thing you're gonna do is write down everything you want within the next 12 months and be super unrealistic bro do not even filter it if you want a ferrari ride down a ferrari bro seriously if you want a mansion ride down a mansion if you want to go to australia right down go to australia if you want to be bro, i've seen two g wagons so past me in the past five minutes but what was i gonna say yeah if you want to be a certain kind of person if you want to do a certain kind of thing, if you want to have a certain kind of thing, write it all down, bro. Seriously. It doesn't matter. Forget about the time frame. Just write it down in the next 12 months, I will. And then pretend you're planning for your entire life. Forget about that 12 months. Okay? It's not even there. Just write down everything you want to have and do and be. Alright? And the next step is what you're going to do is actually you're going to find out how much these things cost and it's really not as much as you think it's really not bad. i realized i realized if i want to live in thailand which i do want to live in thailand it's so cheap over there especially in my earlier years my early 20s late 20s that kind of thing right I want to live in a cheap place where I can get my money up. Right, the weather's nice, the people are nice. And bro, you can buy so much with your currency, bro. Like, if I went over there with a thousand pounds, Great British pounds, I would live like a king over there, bro. For a while. I would lose like a king over there for a while. I know. So yeah, I want to move to Thailand. I, I wrote down within the next 12 months I'll move to Thailand. And I want to live in a villa. Right, I want to have a nice, a nice villa, like a mansion type thing, right? With a pool, you know, on suites, everything, bro. Very, very, very nice place to live in. I wrote down, I'd want a nice motorbike, a nice motorbike, like a Harley Davidson, bro. and I'd like a 10,000 pounds watch. Right, I'll buy a 10,000 pounds watch. And um, I think that's everything I wrote down for the next 12 months. So, then I started to just calculate the costs of all this. And I realised, just to get to Thailand, 
that would be around 900 pounds of all the costs that I have to get and everything like that. 900 pounds for that. But that's all the one time costs. And then, if I actually went to figure out the monthly cost, I started to add it all together. I checked how much it would cost per month to finance a Harley Davidson, how much it would cost per month to rent out a villa, how much it would cost per month to have that watch on finance. And by the way, it's basically still yours, you're just using a payment plan to pay it all back. And I included fuel, insurance, bills, food, all that kind of thing. And I realised all that stuff I could have for just £2,500 a month ago. And then I timed it by 1.3, just for like safety and savings, that kind of thing, in case there's any emergencies. So then I calculated, that's like 3.3 .3 grand per month. How much is that per day? So divide it by 30, just to get around what I figure. It was £110 per day, bro. And yeah, bro, that's not an easy thing to do online, right? It's not impossible. Definitely not impossible. Let's say you could get 10 income streams that are all getting you 10 pounds per day profit. That's an easy 100 pounds per day, bro. Easy. And you don't even need a 10,000 pound watch, bro. You don't need a 20,000 pound motorbike. You don't need a villa. You could easily cut down those costs by a thousand, two thousand, maybe not two thousand, but one and a half K. I've seen places in Thailand that are like 500 pounds per month, bro. And you could get like a crappy little scooter for like 3,000 per week. And you don't even need a watch. I just wrote down the things that I want. So I could easily do like one, 1.5 K a month and still live a pretty good life. And that's like what, 30 pounds a day? And my hands are freezing off, bro. And you can do the same for what you want to do as well. Whatever you want to do, I guarantee it's not as much as you think. And you can start to plan how you're actually going to get there. And once you can break it down into little steps, it'll be so much easier for you, bro. So yeah, just remember, things aren't as hard as people make them see. Just because your parents or your friends tell you you're never going to be rich, bro. You never live that kind of lifestyle. Doesn't make them any more right, bro. So yeah, man. I'm across the other end of the camp. Bro, work hard. And you'll see just how wrong everyone is, bro. So there, bro.